Hey, it's Prerak and today we're adding a tiny module to my Polo so it can do this. So this is what the auto folding kit includes. A lot of wiring and this module which is responsible to make the mirrors fold or unfold during locking or unlocking. This is all of the wiring for it which might seem pretty confusing at first but we can easily divide it into a few sections. This is for the driver's door. I have a wiring diagram for it. So this uh, is the harness that will go inside the driver door. So it goes without saying that we'll need to remove both the door cards and it goes without saying that you'll have you need to have folding electronically folding mirrors to perform this now this module is pretty hard to source first of all it'll if you want it from me it'll only be available on special order i i, I don't think i'll ever keep stock of it uh, let's get back to the wiring now this is for the passenger door so once you open that door this wiring needs to go inside of there to the door connector and this is the main wiring of the that leads to the module gives power to the module goes to the earth and connects to both of the doors as well so first you need to open the door cards and lay down this wiring and then we can come back in the interior and lay down this wiring it should be pretty easy and the reason why i delayed this so much is because i had been trying to do it the uh, original way the oem way there are there are options for it but uh, it was taking forever to source those parts uh, and this just came early so I thought let's just go with it it's fine for the LoRa uh, luckily I won't need to add such modules in LoRa I can just add the mirrors from a superb and I can code them luckily in this car it was possible but though that part was impossible what very difficult to source so this has to do for now let's begin the installation by removing the driver's door card first each time you're opening up door cards be very careful with it if you uh, if you listen to music in your car at all if you if you're car has base any amount of decent base then there is a higher chance that once you open the door card it is going to rattle something inside of it is going to rattle so be very careful with these and even while putting them back together make sure every clip is in, in its place and nothing is out of its place so yeah uh, let's open this up carefully now Here you'll deal with this, which will be dangling onto the door right now, and so that, that's what holding it on in an awkward position. To remove it, just uh, take account of this tab, just push it forwards, and you can you'll be able to lift it up, and the cable will just pop out from its hook. And from now, you can remove the connectors uh, to get access to uh, the connectors that we need, which is this right here, and there's another one on this side. The connectors that we need to undo for to remove the door card entirely are just normal uh, connectors you can you can see uh, you just push this lever down you can pull it out and even in this one just push this lever down and you can pull this out uh, this one is uh, slightly tricky it's a new connector you must not have not seen this uh, unless you are opening the door you just pull it pu pull it all the way and once you're at the very edge of it it'll just release itself so and you can just uh, remove the wiring through the door card and have the door card entirely removed with the door card undone we need to uh, tap into a few wires here not not really tap into it we need to remove a few wires and add wires from this harness and make it go through this grommet which you can just pull out like that through this grommet which again you can just pull out and to the door connector the procedure to open it up is just push in on it on the top and it should just fall right out and there is a lever here so with the screwdriver you can just use some leverage and pull out that orange tab just like that and you can remove the door connector there are a few wires that we need to run into this all the way from here so following the stock wiring you can see there is ample of space back here this is the place where all the water falls into from your windows and all the water falls in here there are drains down there so you'll see it's very uh, dirty in there it's really dusty in there so you need to run wire from here all the way to this grommet and through this uh, through this hose to this connector so according to the wiring schematic we need to deepen two three and four from here and add uh, these three wires here not this one 
yellow one orange one goes all the way to the connector which is responsible to adjust or fold the mirrors right now pin number 8 is empty in it we just need to insert wire to the empty slot and here we need to deep in a few wires and add them i have the wires inserted and going where they need to go now i just need to figure out a way to make them go through the door through that grommet and into the door connector So I routed the uh, provided wiring, which is this, through the through the grommet, and I taped it at the back as well. I took it all the way to here, to where the uh, wires for the door goes to the connector, and here they are, the ones that I've just now routed in, which have gone through the grommet. Here they are. If you think that was enough grommet, uh, you are wrong, because there is still uh, this silicone hose or grommet that I need to go through and then i can insert them in this connector now i'm attempting to do it on the other side of the door as well this is the these are the two wires that need to go to the passenger side and i've already opened the door card for it i just need to tap into this connector now two and four of this connector correspond to blue and purple uh, which are these two so let's get to install them there are so many grommets i need to take the wires out through uh, so i'm using this opened coat hanger i just snipped it and opened it as you can see there is a hook on the other end so i have snipped it and opened it and i just taped the wires to the coat hanger and as you can see right there you see that rod that's the coat hanger that has followed the wires through this uh, grommet right here which is the door grommet and you can see this is the door connector and this is where it comes on the inside so you have to remove this panel remove some of the insulation and you can just see it's right there and we have to feed a few wires to that as well so we'll get to that later on uh, the wires have ran through and now we need to just uh, connect them into this uh, door connector so it's easy to remove just put the just push this orange tab in this position it will be upright and we have to insert the purple and blue wires now to insert them you just need to remove this purple you just need to push this purple tab lifted up slightly and then you can push these two pins inside and then we have to do the we have to do a similar thing on the inside with the other set of wiring you can see how this purple lock works as well right now you can see uh, right through as you can see there's no uh, purple lock coming in in, th in the way because i've lifted up ever so slightly as you can see if i push it in you'll see you see those purple locks at the top now which were not visible earlier this is how this purple lock locks these crimson it's there in almost every connector on this car so you just need to lift it up one notch and you can insert the wires i'll choose 14 and 15 uh, number 28 seems of a different size so 14 and 15 are the slots i'm going to insert these two wires in and i have to remember where i'm putting it putting them in because we have to co correspond to that on the inside so in my case 15 is purple 14 is blue and now we'll just put this back together and start working on the connector on the inside before i can connect these two wires on the inside of that connector over there i need to make sure that the, these are routed correctly as you can see this length is really long uh, which reaches the wire to the module because the module is supposed to reside on this side and the wires are supposed to be ran over to that side so i'm going to run these two wires from behind the radio uh, from bottom back there you have a tunnel that goes up here and then a uh, you can find some cavities that go all the way down there now if you do not have a automatic ac control then you might have enough space to just bypass it and run it through here but because it has automatic ac control so it has, it has a different ac box and there is no space from back there so what we have to do is go into the uh, stereo area and then go to, to the other side if you wish to run any wires from this footwell to that footwell so that, that's what i'm going to do that's why the radio has been removed so let's do that now so now I have the wiring coming through the other end. These are the two wires that I need to install in the connector over here. So in order to remove that, we need to first de-plug this and then push in these crimps and make sure that this falls on the inside. And then you just have to push in two clips, which are these right here, as you can see, these clips, just push them in and push the connector in. It'll fall in inside of the car, just like this. Now it's in my hand. And you just need to again lift that pink purple tab and insert the two wires 
which correspond from this connector like see blue and purple and we just need to install them similarly over here so then when we connect these transmit over to this side and all the way to all the way through to the module that we're installing So the wiring on this side hasn't taken care of this door is pretty much done we won't pack it just now not an, until we see the mirrors fold when we lock we won't pack anything we'll just let everything be so let's move over on that side because i left some things unpacked over on that side uh, last time and let's finish them up and just wire in the module finally so over on the driver side you can see there are just four small uh, slots where we can insert these four wires there are on the other side there were just blue and purple over here there's orange and yellow extra so there, there are four of these one three eight nine are empty on this side so i'm going to be inserting in that the rest of the wiring is just involved running these two powers separately because one of them is constant power and the other is accessory power accessory power basically means when you turn the key to ignition only then it is powered constant means even when the key is turned off this is direct to battery almost so it just said that red goes direct to ignition and the green one uh, this is green yeah green goes to accessory so i wired accordingly ground has been given to the ground of the door which is already being shared with the seat and rest was just to plug it in really i was stuck at a point where uh, it wouldn't uh, fold even when i would lock so the thing was that i actually didn't uh, rewire num pin number three from this 10 pin connector into this loop it basically just makes it makes it a loop without splicing anything in, in the entire retrofit i did not splice anything so i just insert the indicator wire to this this basically it takes a signal from the indicator that yeah the car is now locked because it indicated once it blinked once it's locked it'll fold if it blinks twice it's going to open so I'll just show you now how this works. I haven't put everything back together. The connectors are still open, but what we can do is we can lock this door. We can latch it. Yeah, we can latch it. Get the key and lock the car. As you can see, it did that. It took so such a long time to get here. And I'm so happy that it does that now. This is the part where you can happily just play with it for a while because it's so satisfying that your work paid off. So yeah. Now it's time to put everything back together, place that module somewhere. It's going to be a long night, but a fun one. Before I put the door card back on, I need to isolate these separately and make sure that these don't touch the wall of the door here because if it does scratch it's pretty much ground and it'll go into short so um, i'm just going to isolate these and then put everything back together so as you can see i was done with the wiring i packed the wiring entirely i isolated each and every uh, each and every uh, exposed wire as well and then just tucked everything back together uh, there were a few clips that i broke so i had ordered new clips from woodmo and i just replaced them and now the door is very well on there and after finally just finishing the entire retrofit this is how it entirely functions if i lock the car the mirrors will fold now on camera maybe you hear the humming noise a lot but in real life you don't really notice it all that much and when you unlock the car they open back up now it actually works off the system that if it blinks once after the key is out of the ignition if this blinks one it once it just folds if this light blink, blinks twice it unfolds and so on locking it blinks once and on, on unlocking it blinks twice and that's what this system works on now i thought that my knob will be useful even after the retrofit but turns out this knob is just useless now for some reason it, it i uh, in the original schematic uh, the the wire that was supposed to go here i have i've done exactly how the original schematic told me 
but still this knob is just it doesn't do anything at this point but it's fine for me but i think there has to be a way to make this function as well with the module but it's fine it's fine it, it lets you adjust all these settings so it's fine it just folds and folds unlocking and unlocking so that was it about the module of uh, ORVM fold unlocking and unlocking if you want more information about it you can always text me on instagram that red cells and i will reply to you there so this has been on that module thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time